Hey, what's good everybody? Jay Ping here checking in, respectmyregion.com. Here today with a quick taste test review featuring Jazzosaurus, bud tender from Mother Nature's Remedy in Woodland Hills, and the Buddies brand cannabis distillate with cannabis derived terpenes vape cartridge. So we'll be doing a review on this vape on the Buddies brand CISA. So today's strain is the Three Bears OG. This is an indica. It's one that I personally am a fan. I'm a fan of. I've tried it in the live resin form. I've tried it in the dab form, but I have not tried it in the dissonance. So I haven't tried this either. Um, 91.98% total can cannabinoids. 88.50% THC. Zero CBD, and it has beta myrcene, beta carotene, beta Awesome? Osamine. Awesome. Maybe it is awesome. I don't know. Awesome beam, awesome. Usually that's like orangey. We'll see. Okay. I like these chirps. I think I'm going to like this one. It should be good. Three bears OG. Pop it on open. Let's see what it's like. Buddy's Distillate features the CISO vape battery, the CISO hardware on the cartridge, single source distillate, and they do use cannabis derived terpenes, which means that the terpenes comes from cannabis, not some kind of all natural or fruit or veggies or something like that. So. Three, four second hit. What are you tasting? It was something sweet and earthy. I don't know, I really like it. Oh. <laughs> mm. It does have that good, like, earthy OG. It's earthy. Sweet terps. It's slightly sweet. And it's smooth. Oh, are you going to get a terp sneeze? No. Nope. The terp sneeze. It's always good when the terp sneeze happens. That's for sure. That's a yeah. good indicator. Mm. Potent. Flavor-wise, you get a little bit of citrus on the end or kind of in the middle of hitting it <laughs> on the inhale. On the exhale, you do get this sweet, earthy OG-ness. <coughs> Yeah, I really enjoy this one. 90, 91.98% total cannabinoids. This is considered high potency. Uh, what are you thinking for a score out of 10 and why? Hmm. 9.2 out of 10. I don't know. I don't really get like a body high from this. It's just, I think it's a head high. I think it's gonna become a creeper because OG Kush is always creep up on creep on you a little bit. If they don't hit you right away, they're still gonna get you high. It's still an OG. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I feel you. It's it really is more earthy. Of a, it's really earthy for me, but I think someone who enjoys earthy will love this. Right. Yeah. There wasn't a lot of pine on it, but there was yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I like piney and sweet. It's mercing, so it's gonna be more of that sweet sour. The the caryophylline is gonna be that slight earthy spiciness, and then the osamine is gonna be. Again, that little bit of citrus. So, I'm getting at least all those flavors, which is nice. Um, manufactured on October 28th, so it's still relatively uh, fresh distillate. The color is pretty beautiful. I mean, my score doesn't necessarily matter because I work with buddies, but 9.2 from you. 9.2, yeah. I feel is pretty solid. I'd give it. I'd give it somewhere around the same. Um, is it the best strain I've ever had? No. But I feel like a lot of strains that taste the way that they're supposed to taste mm -hmm. and they give you the high that people have said that they usually give you. Yeah, whoever likes these good. terps is going to love yeah. this. If you like OGs, this is going to be really solid for you. It's probably going to be closer to a 10. Mm -hmm. I, for one, know Marathon OG is my, that's my favorite OG. So it's, I it's like a tough. the dream, so I'm pretty basic. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it, I feel it. Well, appreciate you guys for the love. Thank you, Jazzy, for your review. Jay Ping here coming at you guys live. Respect my region taste test review. A whole new series dedicated to identifying whether or not this is worth trying, does it taste good, and giving you guys a score to kind of stay consistent with. So appreciate you guys for the love. We'll see you all in the next review. Love y'all. Peace.